This period should have been one of joy, particularly as the past weeks marked the birthdays of two princes, the children of Kate Middleton and Prince William, little Louis and his elder sister Charlotte. Yet, even today, as their cousin Archie celebrates his fifth birthday, there is no peace to be found, neither in England nor in the United States. Let's delve into Harry's upcoming visit in 48 hours and the sorrowful reason behind his journey. Initially, he planned to travel with his children for a familial reunion with their cousins, but now he ventures alone, hinting at strained relations between Kate Middleton, William, and Harry. Some speculate that Kate wishes not to see her brother-in-law, while William has conveniently found duties far from Street Paul's Cathedral, where a celebration dedicated to the Invictus Games. The reason for Harry's visit is set to occur this Wednesday. It seems William is seeking flimsy excuses to avoid his brother and dismisses any notion of reconciliation. Moreover, the sad reason for Harry's solitary travel is unveiled, along with one of the most unpleasant chapters. As I often say in nearly all my videos, I don't believe that Kate Middleton orchestrated that shameful, terrible spectacle that no one takes seriously on Mother's Day with her children. But today, we bring official information. There's a highly respected BBC journalist, formerly of the BBC, and now primarily collaborating with many media outlets in my country, at least as we see it in Spain. She frequently appears on Espejo Publico, and on the anniversary of King Charles III's coronation, she graced the television show. But the most significant and telling thing she revealed is that things are not going well for Kate Middleton, and William, without naming him directly, might be to blame. Essentially, she describes one of the most disgraceful and appalling chapters recently witnessed within the British monarchy. We're not talking about illness or health, certainly not cancer, but something that, according to Helen herself, was a tremendous scandal. Although the media initially silenced it, it seems they are now daring to denounce it. The focus is primarily on Mother's Day, an edited photograph that photo agencies and image agencies had to retract, which even cast doubt on other past photographs. The controversy exists and persists, with the latest photo of Charlotte raising many questions because she wears the same clothes as on that day. Doubts linger, and many suggest that even Kate Middleton might be signaling that something is happening to her, something is going on. I don't know if it's worth going that far, but it's worth noting that after that controversial photo, they seem to be reverting to old habits, right? In Spain, they say history is repeating itself with the same blatant and egregious mistakes. But what's truly astonishing is the revelation from Helen White. Despite all efforts to conceal it, there is no peace within Kensington Palace. Why? For a very significant reason, someone has been dismissed. Due to the entire fiasco with the photograph, measures were taken and an individual responsible for the prince's communications within the palace was let go. They say this person was replaced by a new hire. This new individual was placed in charge, succeeding the former, but Helen White speaks more decisively than ever. She asserts that someone should have intervened and made a statement rather than endangering Kate Middleton, especially now that we know she had cancer, who made Kate Middleton appear culpable. She was thrown under the bus, Helen points out, delivering a very harsh and definitive message that confirms what we already suspected. Yet, it's worth noting if someone who worked at the BBC tells us that indeed, something very strange and unusual is happening. Firstly, there are dismissals within the palace, though they are not made public. Secondly, Kate Middleton indeed did not take that photograph and is not to blame. And thirdly, true the unpleasant news. Harry is traveling to England, and apparently, he does not intend to see his sister-in-law, whom he loved like a sister. We don't know if he's being prevented from doing so. It's always been said that Harry wanted more than anything to meet with Kate Middleton, to see her, but it seems he's not allowed to see Kate Middleton, even though official sources like the editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, claim that Kate Middleton does not want to see Harry unless King Charles III demands it. Somehow, Kate Middleton does not harbor any sympathy or good feelings towards her husband's younger brother, which I also find hard to believe entirely. 
But beyond all this, truly unpleasant information is being uncovered, and that is that Prince Harry and Meghan had to make last-minute changes. They were expected to fly together, even with their children, though that was not clear. But it turned out they had to make last-minute changes. For what reason? Due to a hostile reception. These are the literal words from the London Express, the Newspaper Express, which gives us the following information. The Duke of Sussex will fly to the United Kingdom for a special memorial service celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games at Street Paul's Cathedral, St. Paul's. Harry first made his public appearance there with Meghan, remember, as his girlfriend, in 2017 in Toronto. And yet they say that recent reports indicate he has decided to skip this event, in the literal words, to stay in Florida, after Toronto, and in the last few hours, it was expected that he would also come to England. One of the last times we saw them together was at the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee event. At that moment, they say, a chorus of boos rang out. These jeers, as reported, were heard by all. It's important to understand that there were also those who cheered them on, but indeed, the booing at Street Paul's Cathedral did occur. Thus, they say, returning to that place with Meccan, she seems reluctant to accompany her husband, perhaps fearing a repeat of history. In other words, even in such a sorrowful context, which should have been overwhelmingly positive. Harry himself declared at the Invictus Games, while in Canada, that yes, they would use this challenging time to come together. Harry extends a hand, and it seems not to be taken, but rather almost bitten. At the same time, Kate Middleton is found guilty when she is not, and once again, we see Harry portrayed as guilty and the villain when he is not, and worst of all, they say that King Charles III would also like to rid himself of all this on his grandson's birthday, meaning the situation is terrifying. Indeed, what Harry said on Esper was very harsh, but I believe no one deserves such treatment from their family. In fact, there's a message that we could read on a television studio, or rather here, which says that William still feels uncomfortable with his brother, that William feels it's not the time to meet with him, that he, let's say, is not seeking a reunion with him, and that he has even found tasks and affairs far from where he will be, far from Street Paul's Cathedral, for the sole reason that this Thursday and Friday, he wants to be as far away as possible from this person, with whom he may get along better or worse, but who is his flesh and blood? I don't know what Lady D would say if she were alive, or thankfully she doesn't see this, but certainly King Charles III, I think, should also intervene. I don't know what you think about what we said, but it's quite newsworthy and quite remarkable. First, it's confirmed that the person responsible for the photographs has already been fired, that they did it quietly and hired someone else, that Kate Middleton was not to blame, and, as it may sound, they tell us that William used his cancer-stricken wife as a human shield to save the reputation of a monarchy, the Crown, or Kensington Palace, however we want to call it, something that I have already condemned, and that I find truly disgusting and shameful, and in the last hours, we learn that things are not only delicate regarding Kate, regarding that edited photograph, but also regarding Harry, who wants to join his family and cannot do it. His wife is not traveling with him, and worst of all, neither are his children. The intentions were such that the cousins should gather and look how things are. Archie turns five years old, and he is practically a complete stranger to most of the family, from King Charles III to William himself, and even to the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, whose health is still unknown, although in the last hours and weeks they say she is seriously ill. This is reported by the Spanish journalist Hancha Colasia.